Hello, this is Victor at RestoreYourMercedes.com. This video is for Hamilton in South Carolina. Uh, Hamilton, so this is your throttle body here. And I'm sorry for my camera not focusing correctly. It's just terrible. I need to replace it. But uh, SL 500 unit. It had lots of oxidation. Unfortunately, it seems like you live by the coast or something because it is really... It was really, really oxidated. I even have to polish a little bit here. Well, I never touched these surfaces because they're very finely polished. But I did polish it, so... Um, because, see, there's like oxidation marks. Again, it's not to be worried about. Everything's gonna be just fine. I'm just saying. It's just like an overall physical look. You see, some of the embedded oxidation could not come off. I tried to clean it, but you can sometimes still see a little bit of dark spots but actually you know it's really cleaned off relatively clean i have to say from what it was you remember how terrible it looked now this is how it looks it looks pretty pretty good you see so plate is nice and clean like a mirror finish on it so it's pretty good <clears throat> okay so bench test the unit has been energized for day and a half so i would say maybe 20 8 to 30 hours or something around there it's pretty, pretty long almost two days in a row because I just had the bench time so I just left it on it um, one day it was not energized I mean it was energized but not moving and the second day it was energized to move so it's open and close I just tested the clutch coil like that right, anyway so you can see the temperature on the unit is over a hundred degrees this is to compare with the uh, room temperature unit at 77 so this is <clears throat> this is this is a this is a very very warm unit so just to prove that the unit has been energized for a long period of time you cannot warm this up in a minute it, it takes hours to warm up to this temperature so um, operation <coughs> plate is light there is no binding as you can see I can move the throttle plate just by Just by moving the, uh, just by moving the um, the plate at the center, the linkage at the center of the, so it's like a big lever. So um, very nice and smooth, no binding anymore, no uh, um, no flat spots. Very linear, very nice. Let's take a look at our readings here. <coughs> readings. Uh, this one is at the lower range for the idle. If we look down here, uh, 0.41, that's pretty much the lowest range, but it's not to be worried about some of the 500 SLs. They're actually low and idle, and that's normal. The range <coughs> on the, uh, the range here should be, on idle, should be 0.4 to 0.6. So we're, 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 we are within the range, so it's not like we're out of the range, 0.42, so it should be fine. 4.25 is okay as well, and that is the medium value that I always get when I bench test all of the units with this particular control module. Uh, micro switch positioning, so this is idle, open throttle slightly, so you just open it halfway, throttle switch, positioning change so they change over switch over you see they're supposed to switch over on off once you open throttle they go to off on they might be moving around a little bit that's like a software glitch not to be worried okay wide open throttle that doesn't really mean anything I just wanted to show you that readings do follow that's what's important that's what computer sees and that's what has to be <coughs> That's what has to be happening for proper operation, otherwise uh, the computer will go into limp mode. Um, so yeah, I, uh, we're pretty much ready to go. Unit is finished and um, ready to be mailed back out to you. Alright, so this is all for me, quick test. And uh, clutch coil seems to be okay because it held on for all these hours in um, pretty much humid and warm climate because it's quite hot in New York now and it seemed to be fine so I have no problems with the coil so I don't think we need to change it 
All right, so this is it. This is Victor at historiamercedes.com. Thank you for watching.